In this video, I'm going to show you how to add conditional questions in a Google form. So the working of conditional questions is really simple. Basically, based on the response to one question, you can decide which question you want to show next. So let's get straight into it. If you haven't already opened Google Forms, then quickly just open it and go to the form where you want to add conditional questions. First, just add the question over here. So I've added this question right now for a product review. And if you just click on this box over here, you can decide the type of answer which you want. So here you have to select either multiple choice or drop down. For now, I'll just keep it multiple choice. And to add the options, I can just select them from here. So now the first question is ready and the user can pick either of the three options. Yes, no, and other. So now what we have to do is link each of these answers to a certain question. So then if a person selects yes, it'll take them to one section, or if they select no, it'll take them to another one and so on. So first we need to create these sections and to do this, just click on this button over here, which is to add a section. So now I've added one section and if I want to add one more, I'll just click on it again. And as you can see, two sections have been added over here. Now that we've added these sections, we need to go back to the first question and link each of these answers to one of these sections. So just click on this question. After that, click on the three dots, which are over here. Then just select this option. That's go to a section based on the answer. And as you can see, these options have come here. So now we can link each of these responses to a certain section. So what I want to do is that if a person answers yes, then I don't want to ask them more questions and just let them submit the form. So to do this, I'll just click over here in line with yes. Here you can see the options, which are section one, two, three, and the last option that's to submit a form. So I'll select submit form. And the same way, I link the next two options to sections. So for no, I'll make it section two. And for other, I'll make it section three. So now it's done. For each of these answers, we've linked it to a certain section. So now all we have to do is add questions in section two and section three. So I've quickly added one question under each of these sections. And there's one thing that you have to change and that's over here, just click on this and select submit form. So basically, if someone completes this section, they shouldn't be taken to the next one. They should be allowed to submit the form. So now this is ready and let's see how it works. So you can preview the form by clicking on this icon on the top right. And here I'll quickly go through each of these responses. So if a person selects yes and they click on next, then they'll be allowed to submit the form. Then if a person selects no and clicks on next, they'll be taken to the next section where they can type in their answer. And from here, they can submit the form. And now if they pick the third option, that's other and go to next, then here they're asked another question. And after answering it, they can submit it. So this is how it works. And the first time it may look a bit complicated, but honestly, after you make this a couple of times, you'll be a pro at it. So I hope this video helped you. And if you want to know some Google form tricks, then you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.